Good evening. There is shock and grief tonight in Colorado Springs after a gunman opened fire late last night inside a gay nightclub. At this hour, five people are dead, 25 more are wounded. There is a suspect in custody identified by police today as a 22-year-old male. Several firearms, including a long rifle, were recovered at the scene. Police praised the actions of at least two patrons who subdued the suspect within minutes. People inside the nightclub last night are mourning the lives lost and what it means for the LGBTQ community. It's a place of welcome, a place of peace. A place for us to be ourselves. And now look, this, what are we going to do? The club is calling the shooting a hate attack. Local officials say the motive is under investigation. For the latest from Colorado Springs, we're joined by Haley Sanchez of Colorado Public Radio. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. And Haley, Colorado Governor Jared Polis, as you well know, he said in a statement today, quote, every state resource is available to local law enforcement and that he is eternally grateful for the brave individuals who blocked the gunman. You spent the day reporting at the scene. What do officials know about what transpired? What we know right now is that five people have died and 25 people are injured. Um, that's a little bit more than what we originally thought. The gunman is named Anderson Lee Aldrich. He's 22 years old, and he entered Club Q just before midnight on Sunday and shot people with a rifle. Um, two people at the club fought with the gunman and stopped him from shooting anyone else, and he was arrested within minutes. We don't know the motive behind the shooting. Of course, Club Q has called it a hate crime, but authorities have not yet confirmed that. And there are still a few victims being treated at nearby hospitals. Haley, you live in Colorado Springs. You grew up there. What are you hearing from people in the community today? It's just really heartbreaking. I think Club Q is about one of two gay clubs in Colorado Springs, so it's sad that people went there seeking community. People have been gathering outside of the site, leaving flowers and signs. One of my colleagues met with a chaplain and former police officer who was playing a bugle at the site, and he said his partner and him had thought about going to the club last night, decided against it, but they have friends who work and perform there, and they're still worried about those folks. There will be vigils later this afternoon and this evening, um, and there was a church service where they honored, it's an LGBTQ friendly church, and they did honor some victims at their regular Sunday service. Haley Sanchez with Colorado Public Radio. Haley, thanks for sharing your reporting with us. Thank you so much.